What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we are back with some red ball cricket as we take on the New South Wales Blues out at North Sydney Oval. Now if you did join us last episode you would have seen that the boys from Tassie copped a real big reality check from the WA Warriors getting absolutely smashed over in the West. So hopefully today Pijma and the lads can put it all behind them and step it up as they take on probably the biggest team in the state. If we do have a quick look at the calendar, guys, you can see there's plenty of first class cricket coming at you. We've got the New South Wales Blues, we've got WA again and Queensland. So quite the month for the Tassie boys and Pijma Pan. If you have a look at the skills and perks, you can see he's developing nicely still. He's always ready to play, but that form, we need to see that arrow starting to push towards 12 o'clock. But that'll be enough from me in here. Let's get straight into the action. It's Pijma Pant and the Tassie Tigers. And I'll catch us at the coin toss. If you do enjoy Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll make 100 in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description. So make sure you click on in, come and say g'day, and let's continue to put Cricket back on the map. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the North Sydney Oval for this four-day match between the Blues and the Tigers. Now, if you know a little bit about the North Sydney Oval, you will know that it is one of the smallest grounds in Australia. So fingers crossed, Pijma can get himself in today and up for a massive score. The coin goes up into the air. Good to see big Wayne Kerr umpiring this one. The Blues have won the toss and on a hard standard wicket. What is Curtis Patterson going to do today? He's won the toss. He's going to have a bat. Let's see if Pijma and the boys can put it together with the ball. Well, out they come to play. Dan Hughes, Matty Jilkson, big Pijma pan. He rolls in ball number one on a nice wicket and Hughes just plonks this down the ground. No run. He needs to be on a dime. He's been brilliant with the ball so far. This one's nice and full. You can already tell this is a genuine road. So it looks like Pijma's already pushing it up here. He comes in for ball number three. It's nice and full. And once again, Hughes pushes it to mid off. What is the key to today? Is it line, length, consistency? Pish rolls in and this time Hughes gets on the back, Todd, and he presses it to cover no run. Always good to have big Wayno out at central. Pish comes in for the last of the first. He bowls this one nice and wide, nice and fast at 150. And Hughes lets it go through New South Wales. None for none. A nice, solid start here. The Tassie Tigers is just going to have to maintain their fitness and spells as Pishma comes in and this time Jilks is forward and defending. We've got the left hand and right hand combo. Pish rolls his finger off this one and Jilks steps across, uses a short boundary and he slaps it all the way along the carpet for four. Well, there we have it. The first sign of movement from these New South Wales Blues. Pijma back in and Jilks gets forward this time. The last of Pijma's second. Just the boundary conceded and he's looking to go upstairs to Jilks. He hits him on the helmet. Let's him have a bit of it. Don't you dare take the big red on and it's six for none after three. Generally speaking, you short him up, hit the toes. Pishma's just going to play the slow burn here. Is this he gets slashed and Pishma's picked him up. That's what happens. I'm telling you, you shorten him up. You throw one outside off. He slashes and fifth slip takes a hanger moving to his left. And the big red's in the wicket and it's one for 14 at North Sydney. Well, thank you very much. It took all of 14 balls. Sanger into the crease and Pishma's full. And boy, oh boy, Sanger doesn't waste any time. He hits a beautiful straight drive down the ground and he picks up four. Intense start. The Tassies have picked up the first wicket as the next one to Sanger is on a length. And the captain really is leading from the front here. There are going to be plenty of spells required from him today. Can he get himself through this one? Maybe pick up another. 
The last ball of the fourth. One for eight of his 3.5. He gets short to Sanger. He ducks underneath and Pishma runs at him after seven. The New South Wales Blues are 18 for one. Just a cheeky spell for the captain, but like we said, that is all he needs. He comes back in at 37 for two to the left-hander. This time, he's a little straight to Dan Hughes, and he plocks it to mid-off on no run. He hasn't really tried to swing one yet. Been successful outside off. He throws this one wider to Hughes, and he's picked him up. Inside edge, thank you very much. Well, how good is this bloke? He comes down under the first little in-swinger, chops him up, the keeper has no drums, and Hughes is on his bike. It's three for 37. Tactically, you need to think. Pishma's going upstairs to Edwards. Early doors, he says. G'day, welcome to North Sydney, son. This is my territory. Two for eight off 4.4. What you got, Mr. Edwards? We slow this one down. Finds first slip and Pishma. He is balling out today. Thank you. Oh, he's found another edge. It's full. He shortened him up. He got him trapped on the crease. First slip, second slip. Take a bow and Edwards is quacking off for none. Oh, double wicket, mate, and maybe Lockie Hearn. Welcome to your time as Pishma's on him for the last of his fifth. And after 14, New South Wales, a 37 for four. Well, take a breath, everyone. Pish rolls in for over number six. This time he's on the hips of Hearn and he hits it. It's a square leg, no run. He's had an over to think about it. Just reset his mind and go again. We know it's a big day as he comes in and Hearn jumps back and defend and Pishma's still up in his grill. I don't think Pish really liked that and I think we're going to test upstairs. He bends his back this time and Hearn gets underneath it. Pishma just runs and looks at him. So another cheeky spell managing himself beautifully here. It's 71 for six as we roll in. First ball of spell three and Hearn lets this one go through. We got Peter Neville who's fresh in down the other end. Pijma on an absolute tear. He rolls in, he beats the bat. The boys make some noise. What a delivery. Well, the first 29.5 overs has had absolutely everything. Pish rolls in for the last of the 30th. Hearn slashes, and he slashes well down to Gully. Does he pick up four? He does. Well, we were worried about the small ground and the partnerships, but Taz, you've been pulling this one away from New South as they take a single. Oh, boy, you cheeky little shit. The Blues haven't quite got a partnership together, but we never say never. As we're into Neville, who looks nervous. He's trash. Why don't you still play for New South? Get off. We've got Lion, Copeland, and the tail to go. Rolling in for the third over of this spell, and Hearn clips it off his legs. You can see the short boundaries are a factor, and the boys get back for a very rare two, even three at North Sydney. Three for 16, two balls left in his spell. Does he go upstairs? This time he does to Hearn. He gets the top edge and it goes all the way for six. So Pishma has a cheeky spell and the Tassie Tigers have put in a shift. 103 for nine. Hearn's still at the crease, a left-hander and Pidge's first ball. He plays and misses. 44.4 bolt. I want to at least get one at Copeland here. So we're going to stick with the tactic. And finally, he hits it to square leg for a single. The last ball of Pijma's 11th. Three for 23 and short leg comes in. Copeland goes back and he tries to hit it through Carver with absolutely nothing behind it. And that was all there is for the New South Wales Blues first innings. All out for 105 in the 46th over. And I tell you what, at an oval like North Sydney, that is not a lot to put down, especially in your first dig. The bid red picking up three for 23, setting the tone. The boys had a plan. They attacked. They didn't miss. They held their catches. And it now sees them in a commanding position. They lead by 40 
48 runs. It's 40 overs bowled in the Tigers' first innings. We're still on day one as Big Pishma rolls out to the crease. Not a lot to gain, but plenty to lose. Let's see if the big fella can continue this momentum out in the middle. And out the big fella comes. 1350s, two tons, and a job to do for his state. Jack Edwards in with what is that? 110k trash. Oh boy, we're in for it here, I'll tell you that much. Well, I told you there was absolutely nothing to win in the last 40 minutes of day one as. Pijma steps across, gets Edwards down to square leg, and I tell you what, we do not need to face this. Plenty to lose, not a lot to win. This time, Edwards round the wicket. He's full, slow, trash, and Pijma just stands and defends. Here we go. A little bit of spin with Big J Sanger. He comes round the wicket, and that is just as bad. What on earth is going on? Got big T Ward, 90 off 122. Pijma one off four. The field is a ring. And this time Sanger gets forward. Pijma gets sucked in. He plays and misses. And although they're in a commanding spot, he still looks nervous with Willow in hand. This time he gets forward. He kicks it away. And after 43, the Tigers are 164 for three. Jack Edwards continuing. Big Wayno down the other end. Two slips of gully and trash ass bowl. And Pijma hits this one through cover. Does he come back for two? Yes, he does. Well, finally, we get some pace on the ball. Liam Hatcher in for over number nine. He's round the wicket very quick. And Pijma once again just traps that ball. They've always been the benchmark, the New South Wales Blues. But can Tassie turn it around? This time, Hatcher, full on the body of Pigeon. He whips it down a fine leg for just a single. About half an hour left in the day, and the Tassie Tigers have lost a wicket. Big Ward is done. Well, forget about just losing one wicket. How about Bo Webster's gone as well? Sanger in and Pijma looks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a day one this is. There have been some head losses today. New South Wales working their way back into this one. As Sanger's in, straighter and Pijma works this maturely to backwards square for one. You can almost see him batting with the tail again. Hatcher rolls in for over number 11. He's full and Pijma gets underneath this one. Doesn't time it, but we're picking up picket fences. Well, this really is a red ball contest. It's superb to see in the four-day format. Copeland in, Pijma struck on the pads. And boy, was that going down leg? The boys don't appeal. Needs to stay in the V. There's only 10 minutes left, Pish. You can have a good night. Get the pub, have a couple of beers. He gets in behind this one. Well, we thought Copeland coming in was something. Now the Goat Lion has a crack. Pish, we're on nine as he gets a... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. He's just hit one to short leg. The Goat's picked him up first ball. Oh, Pish. He's fallen into the trap. Nathan Lyon gets a little bit. And Pishma Pan has hit it. And he's gone for nine at six for 183. Well, what on earth is happening, ladies and gents? I thought we were playing on a hard, flat one. The Tigers have been bowled out in the 66 over for 216. And Pijma Pant once again fails to get through to day two. There was a massive collapse in the last half an hour. And will the price be paid? We're picking up play in the second dig. Ball number one, Hughes. Jilks at the wicket and the Blues trail by 1-1-1. One, one, one. Can Pishman keep up his momentum with the ball? Let's find out what he can do. Well, I tell you what, he's fired up. The morning of day two and we're already into the second innings. The first ball to Hughes is short of a length. He goes back and he pats it to cover. No run. Well, was Pishma too defensive? Did he just bat for time? Should he have counted as this one comes into Hughes and he defends on the front, Todd? Boundaryless, intentless. Now he sees himself bending his back. This time it's fast. 154 if you don't mind. 
Now New South can really work on batting long and for partnerships. The last of the first is on a length. Hughes pats it to cover. And once again, we say after one, the Blues are none for none. He started the train off early yesterday. What can he do today? Goes upstairs to Hughes. Oh, boy, has that hit him on the back? I think it has. It's going to go for four league balls. Pishma chases him down the wicket. There is a statement. Pish just letting Dan know that he's fast. He rolls in, he gets one to swing, and Hughes finds the length, gets on the front foot, and he bangs it through extra cover for four. Well, it is a good contest, this. The four leg buys the four runs, and the last ball's nice and short. It hits Hughes again. <laughs> Get out the way, son. They might pick up four leg buys again. They do. And after three, New South, a 12 for none. With a little intent comes pressure and then comes a wicket. Bell picking up one in the over as Hughes once again goes back and defends Pish. Can the change in field just bring about a little mishap from Hughes? We push this one wider and there's the slash. Well, we got what we wanted. Unfortunately, it didn't go for hand. Hughes picks up four and takes their score to 20 for one after five. Well, we thought three was going to be enough, but nah. We're not finishing a spell concede in the boundary. We're in for our next and Hughes looking sharp at the crease. Hits this to mid off, no run. Well, Pish is going to have to go back to the short stuff. It's the only area he's looked uncomfortable as he goes again. He gets underneath it. The last of Pishma's spell. Can we stay short and extract a poor shot? We do. It pushes a little wider and Hughes gets underneath again. In for spell number two and the partnership is real. New South Wales 98 for two. Patterson and Hughes there or thereabouts and the captain brings himself back on. If these two wipe off the deficit, then it is absolutely game on. Pige rolls in for the last of his first, and he gets absolutely hammered through cover. Well, you bowl it there, and the batsman obliges. He picks up four, and Pijma always oh, on the defensive. So the 100 comes up, and there's a slight change of field. Slip goes out to short cover, and Pijma once again pushes this across him. Extracts a different shot. We could be on here, ladies and gents. Well, maybe this is what the doctors ordered. We're going to play some mind games with Hughes here. We push him wide and beat the back. Beautiful bowl and Pige. We saw the cheeky dab early in the over. The last of Pige's six. He goes short to Hughes, hits him on the scone. It goes all the way for four, I think. But Pige was just letting his bloke know that he could be in for it here. Well, I don't know what Curtis Patterson's doing, but he is living the good life down the other end. Pishma in again. It's nice and full 153 clicks, and he makes Hughes think. Well, Pishma comes on for spell number three, and the wicket has dropped. Meredith picking up Hughes, and Pishma looks to put the icing on the cake as he sneaks Edwards off first ball, only to go for four. Patterson down the other end, 74 off 120. Can we get the young fella to poke his hands at one? We hit him just above the gonads. We make some noise only for the ump to turn us down. A tricky, tricky time. The Blues lead by around 50 runs and Pishman needs a wick. And he's in to Edwards. He plays and misses. So he's only working in two over spells here, and I tell you what, he might be tied. We get a bowl our first ball to Patterson, who stands on 110, and all he can do is get behind this and hit it to mid-off for no run. It's just got a little out of hand for the Tassie Tigers here. As Pishma's in this time, Patterson hits it on the up to square leg. Can he finish the over off strong? Sean Abbott, four off eight. He gets short. Patterson doesn't want a bar of it. And after 65, it's two to eight for five. Well, it's just going to be full and fast to Patterson. Oh, and he finds the leading edge. That is a good sign. Let's see if we can give Sean a taste of his own medicine. Pishman looks to get short and he leaves and hits him straight in the face. Well, Sean, you've seen that before. Well, if you're deciding to leave it on your face, then do it again, son. This time he gets underneath it. Piz just lets him know that he's a goose. This North Sydney Oval certainly has flattened out. Pizma in and, oh boy, Abbott whips this one off his legs. Nice and easy. Calm and composed and picks up four. 
Anything more than 170 to chase is going to be tricky. Pishmarini hits the legs. How was that caught at slip? How was that? Oh, he's begging and Wayno says no. Oh, you could only try, Pish. You could only try. Comes into Abbott again. Maybe a little bit of energy. Next him off. How about this one, Wayno? Come on, Wayne. Oh, he says no again. Well, he's absolutely begging to Wayne. He rolls into Patterson. This time finds the edge and it goes through first all the way for four. Well, it's just been one of those days for Pidge. Can he roll in and finish off the over to Abbott? He doesn't. Abbott gets back, defends, and after 73, the Blues are 2-5-2 two, two for five. 14.1 overs, none for 36. Can he take one with him? He hits Neville on the inner thigh. You saw on day one that it nipped everywhere. Day two, it flattened out a little. And day three, is this a road? Curtis Patterson putting on an absolute clinic. Pish rolls in and Neville plays and misses. Beautifully bold. We always talk about the roller coaster and what a roller coaster it's been. We hit Neville on the back leg. Well, Curtis Patterson take a bow. 199 not out left. Stranded. 318 balls worth. But suck eggs as the Blues get rolled for 374 in the 111th. They have certainly put in a shift on their home deck and made the Tigers earn this. We're going to pick up play on day three just after lunch. They're 43 three for three and Pishma Pant is walking to the crease. Ladies and gents, this is the moment. Can the big dog get the boys home? Let's catch him out in the middle. And out he comes. Boy, oh boy, does he need one of these hundreds, fifties, one hundred and fifties, maybe even a double. Shawnee Abbott, one for 11, comes round the wicket. Big Wayno's there and Pishma says, nah, just hold your horses, son. You're in for a long one. Well, he showed absolutely no intent last innings, but what has he got today? He's in a counter-attacking position as Abbott rolls in. He bowls length. Pishma hits it to the man on the ring, gets down the other end, and after 15 tackles, Azzy, a 44 for three. Copeland rolling in with the same plan. Right arm around the wicket, a little fuller this time, and he nibbles one away. There's no point standing there and blocking the ball. Nathan Lyon comes in. This time he drifts one up. Pijma hits it down the ground. The boy's going to look for two. This is where the intent comes. Big Webster comes down the other end. He dives in, and there's the start you need. The intent looks like it is there. He's got nothing to lose. Line over the wicket. It's going to open up Pidge's sweep. He doesn't get all of it. Just enough to the sweeper at square leg for one. Well, Bo Webster certainly batting with intent. He's 17 off 22. He wants this just as much as the people of Tassie do. As Pijma finally gets onto one. He bangs it through mid-wicket for four. Last of the 23rd incoming from Hatcher. He bowls it full and Pishma whacks it down the ground at North Sydney. Not a chance you're going to field that. Surely, oh, well fielded the, the double slide. Pishma gets back for three. And after 23, Tazzy, uh, 81 for four. Well, well, well. Has he just clicked into gear? Lying round and Pishma gets the sweep going. He finds the sweeper, but boy, he looks switched on. There are big moments in games of cricket, and this one right here is certainly one of them. Hatcher in again. Pishma doesn't get all of it, but enough to just beat the ring and come back for two very important runs. Looking to counter-attack Hatcher. He's on the hips, and Pige once again works this to the short boundary at North Sydney and picks up four. Well, the Patterson and Hughes partnership was the one to kickstart the Blues. Can this be the same for the Tigers as Pijma gets one on his hips? Once again, the short boundary's there, and he picks up four. Counter-attack season, I think so. Copeland in again. It's a half volley this time. You can't bowl it there to this bloke. The 100 comes up for Tassie and back-to-back -back boundaries. Thank you very much. Poor oh boy, he is in a mood today. Copeland in, he gets short this time. And oh boy, where do you want to bowl it, Trent? Get back to the commentary booth, bro. You're getting hammered.
And just when you thought it was going to be the Blues day, Pijma had other ideas as he whacks this one to the bloke at mid. On on the ring and he dives home. Good running. You can see that the New South Bowlers going over the wicket doesn't necessarily work for Pij as Abbott goes short. Pij plays all around it. Nathan Lyon called back into the attack. Pish 42 or 45. He gets Lyon over the wicket and sweeps him first ball. Boy, oh boy, what a shot. Well, have some of that, Nathan. If you can remember back to the first dig, it only took Nathan a ball. This time, Pijma leans on it through extra cover. Is this going to be the moment for 50? Yes, it is. Well, put your bat in the air, big dog. You are a star. 50 not out of 47 rocks. He's pushed the run rate up to four. And the Tassie Tigers are in with a sniff. Lion once again bowls one full. Pijma sweeps, gets down the other end and needs to lock back in. Line round the wicket finally to Pige. The two men out on the off and leg side sweeping. This time he gets the slider. Pige hits it to mid off and just checks his stroke. One slip, short leg, short fine leg. They've got their ins and outs right here as he gets straight and Pijmas once again, just working the plan of sweeping. And I like it as he gets down the other end for one. Look who is back into the attack. Big Hatcher around the wicket. Bowls a short ball and Pijma slashes through Gully. You can't bowl there and Pijma picks up four. Hatcher doing his thing and the boy's happy to take the runs. Lion comes on as well. He tosses one up. Pijma pre-meds. Oh boy, that is lovely. 100 partnership. Plus the 150 comes up. And boy, they're doing it again. Line this time a little straighter, and Pijma can work this to point. Does he get it for four? No, he doesn't. Well fielded. The lads come back for two. Copeland stays over the wicket. One for 50 off. He's 11 overs as Pij hits this one to square leg. The boys take off. And after 42, the Tigers are 163 for four. Pijma enters the 90s. What a spot to be. Copeland in. Pijma gets the width and he pumps it through square cover for four. Oh, yes. He's eyeing up a monster here. Beautiful cricket. Well, I think he prefers down under. Line in Pijma. 99. He steps across. He works it down to mid on. Raise the bat, big fella. You are a star. 12 boundaries. Well, as that happens, Webster goes out. It's like he was here for the show and then he kicked them over and went home. Pijma plays and misses. And the pressure continues. Jason Sanger none for six. Pijma this time steps across, works it forward into the mid-wicket gap. Does he pick up four? He doesn't. The boys come back for two, maybe three. Oh, yes. So we fast forward to 220 for six. Andrew's in at the crease and Pijma's still there. He's working this one in picket fences and getting down the other end, just showing the boys that he has faith in him here. Every time Pij got a single, Neil Smith would just take over after over, chew dot after dot. So it might be a good thing that he's back in the shed. Pij leans on this down the onside and smokes it for four. This is a captain's knock. 119 off 103, and the ending is near. He gets a short, wide one, and he slaps this to third man for one. Always get excited when we slash. Well, Bell gets through and shows intent. 10 off 10, Pijma 124. Sanger in, and Pijma finds that gap. Thank you very much! Well, every opportunity he gets now, he's got to put the bad ball away. There's no one back with a square. Sanger bowls the same ball and Pij can't get it. Can they push two? They try. No. And there we have it. Bell can't survive. And now it is game on at North Sydney Oval, ladies and gents. 14 runs to win. 
Copeland with ball, Pijma with bat. Field is out and Pijma hits this one down the ground. Surely's picked up four. Yes, he has. Put them all out on the boundary. Put every single one on. Four balls left in the over. Copeland, oh, he beats the bat. Oh, boy. Talk about the shvink, the tensing up. What does Pishma do this time? Oh, he gets the same ball. He bangs it past Copeland. There's two minimum. Just two. Can they try three? No, they don't. And Pishma goes to 135. Eight runs to get. Can he get a single? Short ball. Bang to backwards square. No run. This is it. The last of the 67th. Riley Meredith, get your running shoes on, son. Copeland gives Pij a short ball. He gets on the back. Todd hits it to deep mid on. What are New South doing? Pijma's got the strike. Seven runs to win. What are New South doing with their field here? Is Sanger bowl some trash? Pijma hits it for four. Yes, sir. Well, there's three runs to win, ladies and gents. 260 for nine. Sanger in. He bowls a full one and Pishma hits it straight to forward square. No run. Oh, it's tense. Tense times. Oh, some live action coming at you. We've got to stick with the sweep. Pish 140. He gets his ball. This time he sweeps it back with a square. And the Tigers win. Thank you very much. Pish repent. You are a star. Yes, 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 yes. Winners by a wicket in New South Wales. Get in. And man of the match, rightly so. 140 plus and plenty of wickets. That is the hero of North Sydney Oval and the man of the moment. What a game of cricket. Oh boy, I need to go and have a beer or something because that was one of the best. New South Wales Blues getting chopped up on day one. Tassie very much the same. And then a Curtis Patterson special, giving them a sniff to get within one wicket of a famous victory. But they had the big red bulldozer standing in their way. Curtis, whatever you can do, Pish can do better. 144 red in a career best knock to win the Tassie Tigers the game. Well, we are going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. One that we will never, ever, ever forget. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below and make sure you swing over and check us out on our live streams as well. But until next time, guys, look after yourselves and those around you and I'll catch you in the next one.